that fake light to kind of kiss into the photo and then just click once. Now what you're aiming for is just getting yeah, the right. edge of that brush. So the idea is not okay. to go too far. You want to go right at the edge and add just a little bit of like a glow that's coming in. That's just making things look soft, a little artsy, more professional. It's the smallest detail. I use it all the time and it looks killer. Do I need to say anything else about that or is that pretty much it? Hey man. Are we going to shoot a video today or what? I've got some better idea today. Better idea? What are you talking about? See, some people think that one click with a brush in Photoshop can bring them all the fame. Ah, uh, don't start again. You know it doesn't work like that. How many times do I have to tell you? Okay, okay. I know that there is no such thing as overnight success and I also know that he earned it, but still, just one click? <laughs> you don't think you can do better, do you? You bet I can. photo looks really great as it is, what do you think? I think that you keep embarrassing yourself because I'm having a great time watching you. Don't mind him guys, because right now I'm going to recreate Peter's glow effect but in much more convenient way. <laughs> and don't be ridiculous, like he doesn't know what is or what isn't convenient. Anyways, let's start with creating a new empty layer. This is the crucial step in making Peter's method more convenient. Well done, master. Now you can create a new empty layer in Photoshop. Congratulations. Yes, and it's important if you must know. Anyways, so here is our new layer. Make sure it's selected, then select your brush tool and make the foreground color white. It is important that you have selected the soft brush, so if the hardness is anywhere else than on the 0%, move it right there. And guess what? What now? Peter told them about the soft brush in his video, so don't speak like it is all your idea. Well, I didn't obviously invent the soft brush, but it's good to mention anyway. Is it that hard to stay quiet while I'm making my video? Okay, so now click anywhere in the photo. You don't need to adjust the size of the brush and its placement on the first try. Now hit Command D and make the brush as big as you like it. Now you can also move it around and find the right placement for it. Like Peter said in his video, try to use only the corner of the brush so it will emphasize the glow coming out from the window and hitting the Chemex and making it look really stunning. The best part about this modification is that you can come back to your edit and modify it to your liking anytime. So what do you say now? Well, I say that you end this video right away so you will not bore everyone to death. All right, all right. So you are in charge of the next video or even better, you can start your own YouTube channel if you are that smart. Well, you don't need to listen to this anymore, guys. So if you like this video, but not like that moron behind me, give this video a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell because it's important. So you will not miss any of the new videos on this channel. And I, and well, maybe we are going to see you in the next video.